You're watching Seven's Afternoon News. Still to come, how Aussie scientists believe they could resurrect the Tasmanian tiger. And some sunshine has returned to the southeast today. This is a look at Brisbane right now. It is currently 29 degrees and Tony has all the weather details next. In 7 News, children evacuated in another flood emergency as the Northside cleanup begins. And help for Reggie, the trainee who lost all his tools. Plus, how our extreme weather will affect your insurance. Also, the young Queenslander who saved her guinea pig from a snake. 7 News at 6. Good afternoon everyone, you're watching 7 News. Checking the weather now from Scarborough where we've had a bit more blue sky return to the southeast today. It's been a nice change uh, for all those flood affected people. A good chance to start cleaning up and those water levels to subside. Jumping to the maps and not much rain across the region today. Maybe just a very light shower on the Sunshine Coast this morning. It's been pretty breezy along the coastal stretch too. A slightly cooler night but still warm and muggy today. 24 to 29 degrees around the Redcliffe Peninsula here. Onto the satellite, the reason we've dried up, a low is spinning up off the southern Queen Queensland coast. It's dragging the rain out with it but also pushing in these stronger winds. Ex-cyclone Kiralee is still over western Queensland and still bringing heavy rain. That won't change tomorrow. More heavy rain in the northwest linking up with storms over the tropics while the coral sea low moves further away so winds ease slightly but still pretty breezy for the southern Queensland coast. Around the nation tomorrow Perth's heat wave condition uh, continues rather up to 39 degrees. Sydney cloudy 28. For northern Queensland, a severe weather warning remains current for that heavy rain in the northwest, then storms in the humid air mass across towards the coast. Near Cairns and Townsville, Mackay should be drier, just a possible shower. In the south, a dry across the board, but watch for floodwaters moving through those southern inland rivers. Roma, 34 degrees. In the southeast, a few more sunny breaks than today, broken up with a little bit of patchy cloud, and breezy winds remain on the beaches. 22 up to 30 degrees in Brisbane, and 29 for Redcliffe and the Sunshine Coast. And we're looking at more sun sunshine into the weekend. Katrina, I'll have the full forecast coming up at six. That's the best forecast you've given for a while. Thank you, Tony. Groundbreaking research is underway to save Australian wildlife from extinction. Researchers planning to store cells of up to 100 species in the country's largest frozen biobank. Ainsley Koch spoke with the lead researcher about the project, which is the first of its kind in Australia. World leading research is happening right here at Museum's Victoria Research Institute to help save Australian animals on the brink of extinction. I'm joined by Professor Andrew Pask from the University of Melbourne. Andrew, just tell us a bit about the work that's happening here. So the idea of the biobank that we've set up here is that we can actually go out into the wild, we can uh, collect samples from our most endangered animals, we can grow cells from those animals, and then we can freeze them down in the repository here. And once we freeze them down, we have a permanent record then of that species that will go on forever. So if we lose that species from bushfire or some adverse weather event, we're able to go back to this collection and actually recreate those animals and then put them back into the wild. We're working on a number of uh, small marsupial species that are particularly vulnerable to things like bushfires and floods. Uh, we're also working on some of the most endangered reptiles that we have here in Victoria. One of them is the Victorian eelish dragon, so that was a species that we thought was extinct up until last year, and we found a very small population of those, and so we've now frozen their cells down. And we're also working on iconic Australian bird species like the brolga as well, for example. And you've been doing a lot of work with the Tasmanian tiger as well. How does yep. that research incorporate into what you're doing here? So our work with the Tasmanian tiger um, involves us really figuring out how to take that cell and recreate a whole living animal from it. The beauty of the biobank here is that we'll actually have those cells frozen down. We won't have to re-engineer an animal that's gone extinct because we've got that living sample now actually frozen. And so you're hoping to expand this research as well, possibly into other museums across the country? That's correct. So at the moment we have funding to do 100 species within our collection here, but ultimately we would like to do this for every single Australian species and have a complete frozen repository of the, all of the biodiversity and the incredibly unique animals that we have here in Australia. And that is Queensland's 4pm news for this Wednesday. Stay with us now for The Chase and then of course 7 News at 6. I'm Katrina Blowers. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon.